Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? My name is Amy Williams, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching today. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Um, I was so excited because I had all of my watch hours and my subscribers, and I could start, you know, making some money, and then I found out that I didn't have enough watch hours. So, anytime people watch, I appreciate you, because I would love to someday um, make this into a profit. We'll see. Um, but you can always order products for me and my link is down below. So the, uh, in the description, if you go down the link to my, um, Stampin' Up! website is there. So you can always order from me. Now this is the best time to order or to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You don't have to be on YouTube, you don't have to hold classes. A lot of people become demonstrators for the discount. Uh, they're called, it's a hobby demonstrator. That's what I started as. Um, but I just really love sharing. So this just kind of is my passion is to get to do this. Um, this month you get this glass mat that, I, that I'm gonna show you. Now, I don't work on it on my videos. Um, I do put a piece of paper all, over it, mainly because of the glare. So, um, that's it. So anyway, anytime this month when you spend $50, you get to choose some, uh, 50 or hundred dollars. You get to choose something from our, um, uh, so sale abrasion catalog. And I've got my mini catalog, but I just realized that my other one is a wall. Let's see. I've got like 6,000 of them. Hang on. It's not really 6000 I promise. Um, anyway, when you spend $50, you get to choose um, something from this catalog. And we are using paper from this catalog that I love, 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 okay? We're gonna do a Valentine card today. Now I'm gonna tell you a not so um, little known secret because I'm not very good at um, hiding it. I don't like hearts. I just don't. But when I saw this folder, this heart folder, I really loved it. So um, I could be swinging around to liking hearts, but um, I don't hold out hope. Let's, I'm not making any promises, so let me just be honest. Um, I'm kidding. I'm not. I don't like hearts. I don't know why. It's just not my favorite shape. Um, but I do, do, do love this um, embossing folder and stuff. So let me turn the camera around and show you what we're going to do today. Okay, here we go. I have rambled, rambled enough, right? Okay. You've been watching for two minutes and I haven't shown you anything. All right. So here is the card we're going to make today. Stop moving camera. All right. Here's the card we're going to make today. Okay. I think it's adorable. Now I have made several of them. Um, and then at the end, we're going to do a bonus card. It's going to be great. So here are some other ones that I've made. This one was a little darker, and this is all using our paper. I did this one the opposite. I used this wonderful embossing folder that you can also get when you spend $100 with Celebration. All right, so this is what we're going to do. But again, we're also going to do a bonus card at the end with the... Um, Outers. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Let me get a piece of paper to cover this up because I know it probably drives you insane. So let me just do that. Okay. I know it's got a, oh, hold on. Let me turn it around because it's not, all right. I know this got a little something on there, but I just feel like that wastes. If I just throw a piece of paper on because it got a little bit of ink on it, um, it's wasteful and I cannot be, I just can't be wasteful. That just it drives me insane. I'm sure it drives other people insane too because they're like, how do you need waste all that stuff? All right, um, but I don't. Um, okay, here we go. Are we on here? I'm trying to get it to where I'm doing better. All right, so here in the mini catalog is the, um, the stamp set that we're working with today. Okay, you can see... It's right here, and then here's the embossing folder and what all it does, okay? And we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show you that. Um, this is also the page on the brayer that we used last week. I'm gonna tell you, I used this with, I did that card with my stamp club this week. 
they loved it. Um, I hope you did too. So anyway, that's last week's video that we used the brayer. Um, oh, and I, t I told you last week, my brayer had two little divots in it. I called Stampin' Up! on Monday. They were like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. They're sending me now another one. So I've got another technique I'm going to do as soon as that comes. So hang tight for that. All right. So here's what we've got. We are using the Around the Bend dies, and these are in our, this is in the annual catalog, okay? These are so pretty. They've got so many elements on them. It even has hearts, but we're not using those. So the ones we're using today, I'm going to use this one. It's got a few things still in it. Um, when that happens, there is a brush that you can use. Hold on. You can screw this brush into this side. Somebody, hold on. Let me put this back on. Let me unscrew this. And you can um, use this little brush to get this out. Okay, you just go like this. And there's a mat for it, but that seems like a lot of work. So what I usually do is go off to the side over my carpet and do like that and get them all out. Use this as it. And then they're gone. Okay, they're they're all gone. Um, they're on the floor. They're on the floor. I'll just be honest. But that's what vacuums are for. So, and you can't see the floor, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to use this one today. You can also use this one. It's got a nice curve in it. Um, but I'm not going to. I like this one, so that's what we're going to use. So, I have got a piece of our, um, of this paper. This is part of celebration. It is, I can't, I got to look at the name of it. I'm going to forget the name of it. It's, and I don't have my glasses on. So oh, this right here, there it is. It is a most adored paper. It's gorgeous. I've used a ton of it, so I don't have a lot left. Um, well, of this pack, cause I'm got another one coming. Probably two more because this is so pretty. This, it, I love gold. I love anything with a little shimmer, okay? It's got this side, but then look, it's got this one with this plaid, which I absolutely love this plaid too. Um, that's just a little piece, we'll get to that. I've got this pretty little, little heart. This to me reminds me of those sweaters in the 80s. Do you remember those? I don't know why it does, but then it has this and you can color those, do so much with that. Um, I used this paper before. Yeah, that's the one I used before. Um, and so I guess I have shown y'all this. I love this. Um, and I showed you that one and there's, oh, there's the back of this one. I do like this one. I did use this one in a card. So um, there it is. I, I have shown it to y'all, sorry. I kind of forgot, it's, you know, it's been a minute. I've, you know, done stuff, I guess. Okay. So we're going to cut this and this one right here is cut at two and three fourths by five and a quarter. Now on this, when you cut this, you do need to make sure that you're thinking about the fact that, um, um, your pattern matters. So it matters. So if you're doing something that, um, you know, has a, a top and a bottom, like you could do plaid either way. But when you're cutting, just make sure it, it the pattern is the going to be the direct, correct way. I had a hard time saying that, y'all. You'd think I was, um, it wasn't Sunday morning. All right. Let me get out my handy dandy this, and I'm going to pull this up. I'm really trying to be better at giving y'all angles and stuff like that. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, so let me get this. All right. I've got my plates right here. I'm using plates one, two, and three. All right, so I've got plates one and two right here. My plates are extremely warped, but you know what? They still work, so I'm using them. Okay, so I've got my paper right here, and I'm gonna put it on here. Now, you need to make sure that the ends get to the bottom 
and the top of your paper, okay? You can have it as, you know, um, angled as you want, as long as you're clipping the top and the bottom and you're not doing it for to here. It has to be at the top and the bottom. I hope that makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna do that. My watch just told me it's time to stand. Um, I'm standing, so apparently my watch and I don't get along very well. All right, so I'm gonna do this. Pull that. All right. Now, and then voila! You have maybe this. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now when I have all these little things on here, you can kind of go like this to get a lot of these out. That's some, one of the things I do. But when I have a ton of these like this, I take my other, hold on. Sometimes they kind of stick on here. I just take this one over a trash can and go like this and they go off. Now, let's be honest, where am I gonna do it right now? On the floor. Okay, so we're gonna pretend I had a trash can and oh, there it is. Okay, my terrible looking, um, plates that probably need to be retired. Okay, now the next thing we are going to do is use, um, we're going to use this again, but we are going to make the, uh, this is the part that I love. So they have this beautiful embossing powder, embossing folder that you can use just as an embossing folder, but you can also use this in the embossing folder to cut out the hearts. Okay, so, and my my uh, stamp club was like, okay, I don't know if I can do that because that's hard. Um, and I'm like, no, I promise you can. Anybody can do it because it fits in very nicely. Now, on this paper, I have cut my paper. This is a six by six embossing folder. And most of them I would say six by six, but this one I did five and a half by five and a half. And so I saved paper. I didn't, um, I could cut my paper in half instead of doing six. So that to me was a bonus. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your folder. You're going to put your, in, your um, folder or your die cut right here and your paper over top of it. Now, here is a tip. You want to try to get this centered onto it and straight, all right? Because we are going to do something a little bit later. And you can see I got it kind of off. So let me let me fix it. Let me do it. I do it better when I do it on here when I'm ready to go. So let me do that. So when you're doing an embossing folder, you're doing just plate one. Okay, can you see? Uh, Just plate one and this, because uh, this is a 3D embossing folder. Okay, let's do it on here, okay? And we're gonna make sure we're gonna actually do it this way because, um, uh, all right, I'm gonna do it up like this. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna fit it in here, it fits, it fits, okay? And then I'm gonna put my paper over it and I want my paper straight. And there's a reason for that and it has nothing to do with that. Okay, so there you've got it right here like this. Your fold side goes in first. You're gonna put your plate on top and you're going to run it through. Okay. Oh, it's heavy, okay. So then, you have this. Ta-da! I love those moments. All right. And then you have all these cut out, right? Now you have this. This is all embossed. Don't get rid of this. Set this to the side. We're gonna use it later. So then you've got nine hearts cut. How perfect is that? Now I did a lot of other ones, okay? I did vellum, I did flirty flamingo, cause that's the other color on here. Um, I'm not gonna do all those on here. Come on, Amy. I want those to come off, that's just not working for me. Okay, 
I have a lot of the other ones already done, all right? I did some of the insides too. I did vellum. I did a ton. I did white. Um, but so we're going to use these, but I didn't want you to see me cut all of that because that might be mind numbingly boring. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do we're going to take a piece of basic white that is your regular five and a quarter by four and by four by four and you're going to take this and you're going to put this on okay so i've got this one that i'm going to put there and this one that i'm going to do so you kind of have like a river between them okay so let me go ahead and put those down all right my husband is outside i got a new car yesterday i am so excited my son um it, it, had, it was having a code on it and my son took it to his uh, friend who's a or, uh, friend's dad who's a mechanic and um, he said okay yes um, that's a ticking time bomb and so you got to get a new car so gosh darn it I get a new car and my other son when I showed a picture of my new beautiful car um, my son goes really mom you couldn't have waited for your birthday because my birthday's in February. I'm like, this is not a birthday present. This is a need. All right, so I want to get this stuff down, and it's really hard to do that with your tape. So here's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to use this technique several times today. Here is my um, silicone mat. I put some glue, and I've got a little sponge. I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to dab it here because I'm going to get this nice and glued okay so then i can put it down here like this and like that so there you go and then it's all down okay we're going to use this in a minute too so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna have this go very far this has got a little thing on the back okay so i'm not it's not going to go far and then when it dries you just go like this and the glue comes off of it. You can kind of see this that I kind of got on there a little bit. Yep, it just wipes right off. I use this thing all the time. Okay, so I've got my river. It's not really a river, but I do have a river. Okay, now I'm going to use my stamp pad. Now this next thing I'm gonna show you is 100% for one of my stamp club members, uh, Nicole Spinetto. She's does, uh, she has her own channel, Simply Spinetto. She does some beautiful cards. She is also in my um, downline. So she she's uh, uh, joined my, my team. And so she comes to my stamp club. I, and, and I did this with everybody. And she goes, you need to show that on your videos because I have never used this, which you know is my favorite, I never use that because I never can figure out how to do it. So I'm going to show you a technique today. Here it is, super, super simple. Uh, to my Valentine that is from the um, stamp set that goes with this, and it is the, sorry, it's this stamp set, Adoring Hearts. All right, so let me do that again. Okay. To my Valentine, I'm going to stamp it in the middle of this. I think it's a little over a half an inch. Um, it might be right at a half an inch. Okay. So there we go, I've got that. Now I'm gonna use my punch. Now you can see that I've made this larger on this side and this side. This is one, two, three, four, and the mat, the red that I'm gonna mat it on is four and a quarter. This is not going to be four and a quarter. I'm going to put it in here and I'm gonna do it. Okay, so the first time I'm gonna do it, I want to make sure, I do want to make sure it's in the center. Okay, so I did that. I'm going to look at that and go, okay, do I like that or do I want it a little closer to the E? I want it a little closer to the E, so I'm going to put it in there again. I'm looking at it because I want to make sure I don't hit anything. And there it is, okay? So I went pretty close to the E, but that's what I wanted. So I'm going to go and do the other side. Okay, I'm going to do the first bit. Try to get that centered. Okay, I want it a little closer, mainly because I want to get rid of that. <laughs> Let's be honest. All right, so I'm going to do 
that and let's see. I don't feel like I have it right in the center, so I'm gonna. Okay, I still have that, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go here, and I'm just cutting a little bit because I just want that little bit off, just like that, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my next one, and this is a little more than three, this a little more than three fourths of an inch, a little less, so it's like seven eighths of an inch. I didn't want the whole inch. I didn't want it quite that big. So I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna punch it. And then I'm gonna put this on here, okay? I'm not punching both sides, I'm only punching this side. And I'm gonna add this to it like that, okay? Now, I have all of this, but this is room that I have to make it smaller. I know that doing it, punching it the first time is, is not gonna, is not gonna be in the center? Nope, obviously, okay. And I, I, I'm exact, I made this exaggeratingly larger because I wanted you to see what I was doing. Not yet. Not yet, but close. This is close. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna look at it. I'm not gonna actually do all the way. I'm doing it less. And look at that. I've got that right at there, they're equal. Yeah, I had a little bit of punchy madness, but to me, that's the way to use this punch and get it matched, okay? I'm sure there are better ways, but that's what I'm doing. So I know this card is gonna, this is gonna go about here, and I'm gonna take my hearts. Now, I've done some in Flirty Flamingo. I've done some in Vellum, which I absolutely love, and I've done some in Red. I've also done some of the white cutout and the red cutout that are the other pieces in there. So, I, you know, I did little hearts. I did these little three things. I, I did a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, but now we're just going to play with how we want that done. Okay. Play with how we, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Let's move that out of the way for now. I don't, oh, no, I will need that if I use those. Okay, so now we're gonna figure out what we want to do with this. So do I want this? Maybe I want a red. And the thing I like about these embossed it, so you can do it this way, or you can turn it around and kind of have the opposite look up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't really know which one is right. Maybe this one, but I like that look too. So you can kind of change that up. On this one, you've got this, and then you've got that. But actually, I kind of like that, so I'm gonna use that side. All right, I'm gonna add some vellum in here. I love what the vellum brings to it. Now, I notice these are very similar, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna add the red right here. And then, let's see, I'm gonna do those three. And then down here, let's see, I'm gonna add Another, let's do a pink down here and let's do a red here and let's just do that. All, I always try to do things in even or odd numbers. So I've got, or no, <laughs> Whew, that's all of it, right? Okay, I try to do them in odd numbers. So I've got three here and kind of this is adding as my third down here. Okay, so I'm gonna put that kind of maybe with that, all right? So I'm gonna put these on and I'm gonna turn these over. I'm gonna put this one on first. So I've got that little guy there. Now I'm gonna do my vellum. And this is a question that everybody, I think why everybody shies away from vellum because they're like, you can't glue it without seeing it. And and you know what, that that does tend to be a problem. But this is this is how you get that from happening. You get your glue, you do this again, and you're gonna tap it on here, okay? When you tap it on your vellum like that and then glue it down, it really hides that. It hides the glue. I don't know why. Oh, look how like that kind of, I like how like that. I kinda of like that side. No, I don't like that side. Oh, it's hard to tell. Obviously can do. 
you do you. And I always tell my my stamp stampers, I think they get so tired of hearing me say, you can do whatever you want. It's your card, because it is. All right, so I'm gonna do my pink one down here. I'm not gonna do that. I might, I might put that underneath it, I'm not sure. Now this one is another one that I use that same technique for because you can't, it's hard to put glue on here. It's hard to, ch -ch -ch. so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm trying to use up my glues. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I've got some glues that are just almost done and I, I hate wasting. So um, these are my <laughs> stamp club glues because I this is what I use with stamp club. And so, you know, we get there and they're like, this is out. Like, oh no. So um, I'm trying to use those up. All right, so I've got that down. Now, you know, this is not gonna go flat on that card. You know, it's gonna be dimensionaled. So I'm gonna get my dimensionals out right here. I'm at the end of the road, my friends. End of the road with my dimen these dimensionals, right? But am I gonna get rid of them? No, I'm just gonna use them. We're gonna go crazy with it. I mean, I wouldn't normally use this many, but I just wanted to finish off the sheet. Okay. To my Valentine, right there. I like it like that. All together, I have five hearts, which I do like. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on my real red cardstock. All right, let's see. I'll do that. Get my bone folder. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way because it's not the most pleasing. These are kind of driving me crazy too. Um. So um, we did this with Stamp Club, and I think they liked it. They said they did. Um, and then my library coordinator, because I'm a librarian, she was like, hey, I was wondering if at our um, meeting on Tuesday, you could do a, a card, like a little card class. And I was like, oh, yes, I would love that. All right, I'm gonna get this. This is the inside. We got to do the inside. So, um, and I was like, oh, okay. And I, last year with my kids, um, my students, I had done a light up card um, that that they that they all made a birthday card that was a light up card. And I was like, oh, I could do that light up card that I did last year, so people could do that with their kids because it was a circuit. And um, that was the whole point of the the demonstration was the circuit. Um, and she was like, well, I was thinking Valentine's. And I was like, okay, well, I'm thinking you're getting this. So this is what we're doing. I'm excited. Some of them come to Stamp Club uh, more in the summer because they're so busy during the winter or, you know, during the school year. But so I'm excited to get to do it with them. I'm very, I hope they like it. I hope they like it. All right. So there is, there's my card. I think it is adorable. So I did this one and I did, and here's my other ones. There's this one, this is the opposite. Here's the only reason I didn't do this. I liked it, but here's the thing I found with that. And I used the other one. You had to make your DSP the full size because it ran all the way. And honestly, I just felt like I was wasting designer series paper. This used, I think you got more bang for your buck with your designer series paper by doing this, okay? All right, now I wanna show you the bonus card. All right. So when you do that, you have these, okay? You have these. Well, they're still embossed and they're still cute. So by golly, we're doing something with that. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make something with those, okay? Now, I am gonna use Flirty Flamingo this time because I had a bunch of Flirty Flamingo. So I've already made the card and I'm this one is gonna be short and sweet, okay? Short and sweet. Now, you can use any paper you want, but I am gonna tell you that I've been looking, I used this on another card and I don't even think, I don't even know if it has flirty flaming, it does. Um, and I used this one, which I absolutely love, but as I'm looking, I think this would look really cute with it. I think this would be adorable. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's got pool party. Oh, here's an idea. We have got to find a way to do this. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, you know I'm gonna use this ribbon. I 
just had a thought. Oh, I love it. Okay. So what I did was I just took this and I cut it down. And it is about, let's see, it is about three and three fourths. Okay. So I'm going to cut this and by, um, and it is by five and a half. Um, it go, it's going to go pretty much the, the top and the bottom of the card. It's really hard to get it enough to where you've got room on the top and the bottom. So that's okay with me, but I'm going to put white behind it. Okay. So I'm going to cut this to match this. So let me get my cutter. I know that these really aren't called cutters, but this is just what I call it. Um, because I'm, I'm me. So I'm going to do this at five and a half. No, I'm not going to do that at five and a half. I'm going to do it at, all right. Oh my goodness. I just did something stupid. Okay. Let me put that back in. I don't, I've never had that happen to be honest with you, except when I'm right here. All right. What did I say? This is really three and three fourths. So I'm gonna do this three and three fourths, but I'm gonna do it a hair smaller, just a hair, because I just want it to um, be smaller than this, okay? And then this is gonna be at five and a half. And again, I'm gonna make it a hair smaller because I don't want it to show on the top and the bottom, okay? All right, so I've got that. And then we're going to adhere this to here. Look how cute that is. All right. I know I get a little too excited. I'm going to try to do some, I don't know why I'm doing little pieces. I just want to make sure it really adheres. There's less room at the top to get this. So we're just going to, that's, um, we're gonna do it there and call it good. How about that? All right, so we're gonna put this right in here. Now this paper is in the new mini catalog. It is part of the hot air balloon set and I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. We're putting this here. I don't care, I'm doing it. I love this ribbon. This is this is a free ribbon you can get with Celebration. Okay, this is Pool Party, which if you know me, you know Pool Party is one of my all, 100% favorite colors. Um, I love it. So we're gonna do that. And I always just use scotch tape to tape this stuff down. It's it's cheap and easy. Um, and I like cheap and easy. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Now, uh, in the Adoring Hearts, you've got this um, banner that you can... Um, use and I'm going to do something stupid. Okay. I was gonna use purple, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna use Flirty Flamingo. I mean I wasn't gonna use it. I just forgot that I needed to clean it. Okay, so we're gonna do that. All right. And we're gonna um stamp it. Now this you can't the die is is solid so you can't see where it is. So you have to um Cut that out first and then stamp and then say a little prayer for me. Did I do it right? Okay. Just for you. Now, this is one of those Valentine cards that you would make for somebody who maybe isn't, you know, a guy. You know what I mean? Like, isn't your, maybe it's your, your friend or something like that, that you're not like, I adore you. You're the, you know. It might not be that person, okay? This might just be for your bestie. Like this I would give to Julie, my bestie. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put some dimensionals on there. They fit, they don't show, but if you get it off, you can always trim them. Um, and then I'm just gonna put just for you right on top of that, because I think that's cute. Now, I'm gonna put white behind it because I want to. And that's the only reason, just because I want to. Now hang tight, because after this, I'm gonna show you some that I did, and I'm actually gonna dimensional this, um, that I did with the other dregs. I call them the dregs. That's kind of not really the technical term for that, or very even, very nice, but it is what it is. 
That's what I'm calling them, the dregs. All right. All right, so I'm gonna take these off real quick. Put this on. As I say, this is just kind of, you can't waste them. I was like, I've got all of these. I cannot waste them. Now I've got like 15 Valentine cards and only one husband. So I'm going to have to give some of these away. Okay. So there, it's going to go right on there like that. Just because I like that little white border right there. Just for you. Super cute. Super easy. And you already have that part done. I've got some more of these that I want to show you. I did this one. This was actually last year's celebration paper that I used. Okay, I just did that one. I did, uh, this one is using this year's celebration paper and some from Christmas that I had. How cute is that? Oh, I love that one. I just thought that was adorable. And then this one I did with another part of that um, hot air balloon paper. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I didn't, I haven't done the insides yet. I probably need to do the insides. Um, this paper, if you're wondering, I just, it's stunning. It's got the hot air balloons. It's got the dots and there's the other side. Oh, and look on the other side of the hot air balloons. Look, you could totally use that. That would be so cute in there. Um, got the yellow. It's got these. It's got this. And then it's got this, which I will buy another set just for this right here. Because that is... I love anything with stripes and rainbow -y. I don't know. It's just something I absolutely love. Okay, so we did a twofer card today using the inside and the outside of our um, Adoring Hearts um, bundle. I hope you like it. I hope you have a wonderful week. I did this a little bit early. I know Valentine's Day is not for a couple of weeks, but I wanted to have, if you, give you time if you needed to order this adorable bundle you could get it ordered and into you by um, uh, Valentine's Day. I was going to say, um, I didn't know what I was going to say. All right, so there is that. I've got lots of cards this week. My goodness, look at all this. Tons of cards. I'll be able to show this for, oh, this is when I did. Oh, that was not good. Okay, there's that one. There's that one. And there's that one. Okay, here's here's what I got. Have a fabulous week. Thank you so much for watching again. I truly, truly appreciate those of you that watch. Have a great week. Bye-bye.